Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you how you can install integration services on a Hyper-V virtual machine. Just so you know, this is only for Windows virtual machine. Now, when you build a new virtual machine or even move a virtual machine from an older version of Hyper-V host to the newer version of Hyper-V host, then you may have to install or upgrade the integration services on the virtual machine. So why do you need integration services? Integration services will install the device drivers required for the virtual machine and it will improve the performance of the virtual machine. It is also used to integrate the virtual machine with the virtualization stack of the Hyper-V host. Now below are the, some of the things that is done using integration services. Things such as operating system shutdown, time synchronization between the host and the virtual machine, data exchange, heartbeat, taking volume snapshot based backups, and for guest services. Now these services will be available to the virtual machine only if integration services are installed on the virtual machine. Now, as I said before, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install integration services on Windows Virtual Machine. For Linux-based virtual machine, you need to download the latest Linux integration components. And here is the link for that. Now, if you want to check what is the version of integration services and the status of it on all the virtual machines running on a Hyper-V host, then you can run this command in partial to find that information. So in my case, I only have one virtual machine and the integration services is up to date and you can see the version of integration services. So the command is get hyphen VM format table name integration services state integration services version. All right, so let's get into the demo. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to do is open up Hyper-V Manager and right click on my VM which is Server 2003 and I'll click Connect. Alright, so before I start installing the integration services, let me show you the status of this one. So you can see it's showing blank which means that it's not installed yet. So I'm going to open up the console again and I'll click Actions and I'll click Insert Integration Services Startup Disk. Okay, so let me log in. Okay, so the mouse may not work, so I gotta use the keyboard. Press Tab, Tab key again, and I'll click Cancel. Let me open up Computer, and you can see Integration Services ISO has been mounted. I'm gonna right click on it, and I'll click Auto Play. All right, so you can see that it's installing the integration services and the drivers. Okay, so you can see that the integration services have been successfully installed. So I'm gonna click yes to restart. Okay, the virtual machine has been restarted. So if you look at here, um, I'm getting an OK message for the heartbeat and the integration services has been updated. And if I go into settings and if I click on uh, integration services, all right, so here are the services uh, which are offered because we just installed the integration services. Okay, so this is how you install the integration services on a Windows virtual machine. I hope you like this video. For more videos like these, please subscribe to my channel.